My name is Kelsey Kleinhans, and here is my photo story. In this photo story, I'm going to talk about study skills. A big problem that a lot of students have is that they either think they can't or don't know how to take notes. One of the reasons this is a problem is because students view studying as this. The act of texting, eating, and watching TV with an open textbook nearby. Now we know that's not really what studying is, but sometimes with all the distractions around us, we can get pulled into thinking that's really what studying is. One way to prevent this from happening is to have a comfortable place with no distractions and good lighting and everything else one needs to study. But make sure it's not too comfortable or else you'll fall asleep while you're studying. One of the biggest problems students have while studying is taking notes, but making your note taking fun and creative always helps. Another big thing that helps students take notes is using a graphic organizer. These really help put your ideas into categories to help you study later. Having your students create their own graphic organizer is an even more powerful and motivating way to get them to take notes on their own without your help. There are many different types of graphic organizers, ones that appeal to younger children and ones that appeal to older ones, so a student can pick out the perfect one for them. This note-taking strategy of using graphic organizers is very helpful for English language learners because they can do this in their own language. One very common but effective way to get students to take notes is using highlighters. When highlighting, be sure to use bright colors so that the things you want to remember can stick out to you. There are some important things to remember when highlighting. Highlighting the bold words and their definitions is always a good place to start. Then, highlight what you think is important. One thing to avoid while highlighting is highlighting everything on the page. This can be very overwhelming, especially when you try to look back on it and study. Highlighting is not as effective for English language learners, but if they use annotations while they are highlighting, it could be more helpful. Annotations are a note by way of explanation or comment added to a text or a diagram. English language learners may really have trouble with reading especially if the text is not in their own language. This is why taking notes is important to help them, especially when the notes are in their own language. Using all of the strategies I talked about can definitely make a struggling note taker into a happy student. Now let's review what we have learned. A lot of students have trouble taking notes, and today I discuss some ways to help them. The first is using a graphic organizer, either providing them for the students or having them make their own. The next skill is using highlighters. With these, there are several skills you have to keep in mind, like what colors you can use and how much you can highlight. The last thing I talked about was English language learners and how using a graphic organizer is especially helpful for them. Of course, there are some other things that help, like motivation. Here's a fun way to get your students motivated to take notes. You get one gummy bear for every paragraph that you take notes on. This concludes my photo story on study skills and helping students know how to take notes. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned a lot about what to do and what not to do while studying.